Hello once again, this is Uncle Troy. Today we are playing Minecraft Giant Ravine Challenge. And it occurs to me that I may not have really shown off uh, this little wooden hut I made uh, when I got tired of my mud hut. And uh, I had plenty of wood and not a lot of, uh, not a lot to do with it actually. So I uh, went around and just made this little hut here. There's my entrance to the ravine itself. I probably need to uh, fix that up a little. But I made me a little hut here. Door closes and everything. I used some glass, some glass panes, and just generally tried to make it look nice. And then, you know, kind of, kind of lost uh, focus there after a while, and pretty much made a shapeless wooden blob. The plan for today is we are going to uh, go back to the last zombie spawner uh, we saw. Somewhere out there, uh, I believe, is where we came up. Uh, let me explain that a little better. A while back, uh, one of the episodes, I'm sure I'll have to uh, dig it out and see exactly which one, uh, we encountered, I think, our third zombie spawner. And uh, then I... Uh, decided it was time to go back to base and I swam up a waterfall and came out on the surface of the uh, giant lake here or sea or ocean or whatever it's called and it was only after I had done that that I realized that I think there was some unexplored darkness right past that uh, zombie spawner maybe just a little patch of darkness maybe a whole new cave system and I thought it would be a good idea to go back and try to check that out. So, swimming out here to about where I think uh, I came out, I decided to uh, swim down and just see if I could find uh, an opening, which turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. See, it seems like no matter which little cave system I went into off the ravine, I always hit water and I always came up in the ocean here about this far away from the uh, from the island and so I thought well no problem I will just you know come out here and swim down and surely I will see some opening I know I left uh, torches laying around and uh, you know just inside before I swim up and that should shine through the water and it should show me an open area and instead I swam around here for quite some time and never did find uh, any openings that led down into the cave system so eventually I had to just uh, give up and try something else okay I've re-entered the cave through more conventional means and I think I'm heading down toward where that uh, last zombie spawner was that last zombie dungeon you know if I really uh, if I was really serious about this I probably would be hitting, hitting F3 all the time and writing down coordinates and saying this important thing happened here and uh, you know that might be a uh, die zombie wow and great he ran away no problem we'll just app okay that was stupid Apparently, if you give him a place to walk to, he will walk to it. And apparently, their reach is longer than just one block. So, luckily, I had plenty of armor. Alright, let's shift creep over here. And wow. He's dead. <laughs> okay, do a little parkour jump here. Have to relight this up. Okay, and up. Come on, up and over. And up and over. Okay, let's light this up a little. As I was saying, uh, that might be a good idea for a mod. Something which, uh, you know, keeps track of your, say, time in the game and your location, you know, via coordinates. And actually, like, makes a log file. Something like, you know, 5 minutes, 20 seconds in at such and such uh, location, killed a zombie. Such and such location, you know, saw a spawner that sort of thing. All right, let's very carefully ease our way back here. As I said in a previous uh, episode, we probably need to light up every single one of these little uh, 
little uh, ledges, I guess they're called. Or uh, we would never be able to consider this uh, ravine conquered. Because uh, there will always be things trying to jump down on our heads. To be absolutely honest, it only took me to about here to realize that I was not heading toward the uh, zombie dungeon. And that I was completely lost in a totally brand new area of the cave. But I thought, well, why not? This needs lit up and explored anyway. So I took off exploring, figuring, well, what will probably happen is I'll just end up looping back around to some area I've seen before. and This will be all taken care of. You know, a minor diversion uh, taking us off to one side, and then we're you know back on the main track. No big deal. Probably don't even need to record this, but of course, as anyone who does Let's Play videos has learned, it's when you're not recording that things happen. I have been pretty much ignoring uh, Lapis Lazuli, or Lupus as some people call it. Uh, then it occurred to me, uh, oops, okay, one metal pick down. Naturally, uh, I found Diamond right after I'd made several metal picks. Uh, anyway, uh, somebody had said basically since uh, Lapis Lazuli is fairly common, you know, not ultra, ultra rare like Diamond, um, and has really no use short of, uh, you know, dying world blocks blue, that you could use it, uh, use it as carpeting. If you mix, uh, take a workbench or crafting table and put nine lapis lazuli dusts, hello Mr. Zombie, I see you over there, uh, together it makes a pretty nice looking uh, blue block that you can place and it makes your floor looks nice look nice so I thought okay I will try that so I've started collecting lapis and with any luck by the end of the episode we'll have us a lapis floor for our cabin alright oops these water currents are tricky and I think yep I see the moon up there which means this is another one of those uh, places where the cave opens up to the sea floor, um, which, like I said, seems to be every every time you turn around, there one is. Except uh, when you're actually up on top of the sea looking for them. All right, we had a glitch there in the video, but trust me, I went up to the sea floor and I placed a torch, which of course immediately disappeared. But the lighting stay behind. So in theory we will be able to see this area uh, when we look at it from uh, above the sea. Okay, I thought I heard something up here and out. Yes, I heard a skeleton. And I need skeletons because they have bones which make bone meal. Although my uh, tree farm and Wheat farm seem to be doing pretty good without it. Uh, you never want to be, you know, without bone meal. And hopefully he'll drop a arrow. Yes, he dropped an arrow. Because unless I can find a skeleton spawner, uh, apparently my cell phone has just finished recharging. Unless I can find a skeleton spawner, uh, arrows are still going to be in short supply. Well, I've certainly found quite a bit of gold and iron and lapis. No diamonds. I kind of, you know, still want a few more diamonds. And more importantly, no zombie spawner. Uh, I'm certain I'm in the same general area of the, of the cave system as the zombie spawner, but none of this looks at all familiar. I may have mentioned at some point that uh, I run in cycles when it comes to gravel. Uh, sometimes when I see gravel, I want to dig it all up just to see what's behind it. And other times, I'll just assume it's covering a blank wall and go on. But uh, this time, I dug through and hit the jackpot. I hit a whole new section of cave with lots of iron. And it uh, looks like it goes all the way back down to lava level. Oops. Let's take the gravel express down here. 
a good thing I just dug up some extra gravel if I'm going to be doing that. And that looks interesting. What with the uh, lava falls and the waterfalls all going together. I have to check that out. Did I say something about not wanting to uh, turn all the lava down here into obsidian? I probably said something about that. Uh, but after losing my uh, red mushroom to the uh, to the lava, I decided, well, maybe I do want to turn all this lava into obsidian. Or at least any time I think I might be walking over it or digging around it. I have now come to an area here that I think looks familiar. Uh, and apparently I'm being overrun by mobs. Um, okay, I thought that looked familiar. I thought I had uh, gone up a... Hello, uh, die, die. Thank you for dying. I thought I had gone up... Ow. Okay. And I believe that's all of them. I thought I had gone up a... Uh, little area similar to this. Ow. Oh, lava. Stay out of the lava. Creep. Where'd the creeper come from? And, and another zomb zombie mosh pit. Okay. I thought I had come across an area like this just before finding the zombie dungeon. But I realize now I was wrong and I have not been in this area. See, I finally got it out. Okay, there you can see the uh, lava fall and waterfall we were discussing earlier. We were just right on the other side of that. So you thought I was uh, lying when I said I'd be, we'd come back to this. Alright, lots of darkness and fun things. Let's see, that just falls down to our lava, lava, lava death. Okay, we need to light this up and get rid of some of these mobs. I don't think you can see them, but they are coming for us. Okay. Da, da, ow. Ow. okay. Missed the creeper there. He was a, uh, here's another creeper. Run, run away, run away. Ooh. That one really hurt. Luckily I had armor. But I think my armor is starting to get a little ragged around the edges. I'm actually afraid to look at it right now because I don't want to know how bad it is. Okay. That's uh, health back up here. Make sure I'm uh, full on my hunger bar because uh, if I'm counting on regeneration and regaining hearts and I'm not, then I'm in trouble. Oops. That zombie just got shot by a skeleton. And had I not uh, foolishly uh, whacked him with my sword, he probably would have kept uh, turned around and just went right back after that skeleton. Uh, I wonder if that washed any mobs away. I uh, don't think so. Okay. And I uh, keep thinking there are slimes coming after me, but it turns out to just be little experience orbs trying to find their way back to me. Alrighty. Take them out, take them out, whack. Ow. Alright, back up here. Oh, oh, wait. I believe those two skeletons just decided to shoot each other for a while. So I'm going to take this opportunity to sneak over here and light up the rest of this place. Alright, and. What am I hearing? Yeah. There's a zombie and whap, and he's dead. I think they're falling from some height. And uh, that's what a uh, little lag there. I think they're falling from somewhere above me, so I really should be paying more attention to what's a hello, Mr. Creeper. Ow. Okay. Let's just continue lighting this up. After all, we still have some armor left. Now, um, I am paying more attention to my health and my armor than I have in past uh, past 
uh, past episodes, I guess you could say. My mouth just decided to stop working there. Uh, I am paying more attention to my health and my armor and my hunger bar than I have in past episodes because I, you know, I want this to be a survival thing, an Iron Man thing. So if I die, I'm going to stop playing this map. Aha. Uh -huh. Whack. And whack. Okay. See, that time, uh, when I saw that the skeleton had shot the zombie, I uh, let them let him keep shooting the zombie and let the zombie attack the skeleton until there was just one left and then I took oops hit I for inventory not escape and then once the zombie was you know weakened then I took him out all right let's make some torches here while we're safe and at okay apparently we weren't safe and I don't know where that zombie came from but it certainly appeared in the corner of my eye as if he just popped into existence right there. Which, of course, we know can't happen because... Oops, here comes Creeper. We'll just take him out and... Hmm, I was expecting him to come around there. But anyway, we know that, uh, that zombies can't just appear because creatures don't spawn right next to you unless there's a spawner nearby. And we did not see a spawner nearby. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Let's see if I can get down here. And bam. And once more, sprint. Punch. Ooh. I kind of like the sprint thing. I keep forgetting about it. And then I use it when I don't mean to. But the uh, sprinting is useful for getting around quickly. Oh, hello, and look at the mines. That creeper got shot by an arrow and looked backwards like he was going to go after the uh, after the skeleton that shot him, but then turned around and looked back at me, like like the skeleton just annoyed him, but he still knew I was his I was his number one enemy there. All right, are there more? Yes, there are more. Uh, Skeletons trying to get me. Okay, deep breath and charge. Quack, 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 quack. Come on, quack. There we go. Alrighty then. Even more arrows. Some more bones for bone meal. And hello, Mr. Creeper. Can I take him out? Yes. Wahaha. Ha. Alright, I am getting better at that, I think. Okay, here is some convenient uh, water that appears to be going up. And uh, I think I'm going to avail myself of it. Why, well, yes, here it is once again. Water coming through the ceiling. That has obviously... Uh, is uh, The ceiling of this cave is the sea floor. And there... Yep, this leads all the way to the surface. I'm going to drop some torches real quick to light this area up just in case we find it again. Let's get up. Up, come on. Come on. All right, just some minor little damage, and there's our island right over there. So let's head over uh, here and in the episode. And uh, that's funny. That doesn't really look like our island. And uh, that appears to be covered with creepers and other bad things. So I thought we were on the only island out here, but apparently I was mistaken. Okay, I'm going to see if I can uh, switch to my compass without drowning here. All right, managed to do that. Uh, okay, according to the... Uh, F3 coordinates were about 208 and minus 58. Hard to really see while I'm editing here because I'm editing with a small window. So if you all are playing the uh, Giant Ravine Challenge yourself and want another island to play with, it looks like uh, that's it over there. Alrighty. Uh, should be fairly easy to get back to the uh, 
to our main island and our base and you know I kind of thought making that compass was a little bit of an extravagance not something I would need and apparently I was wrong because uh, I would be pretty much lost forever if not for that because there's no way I would be able to find uh, my island without it and finding my way back to the island took an embarrassingly long time uh, basically my fingers were cramping from holding the space bar so as I would uh, not sink and then about the time I got to here is when I realized hey you had plenty of wood uh, you had plenty of other blocks you could have made yourself a little island uh, you know rested built yourself a boat and just rode in style the rest of the way but apparently I just wasn't that smart. Okay, well that's about all we have for tonight. Um, got a little more of the cave lit up. Went farther away than we ever have uh, in our exploration. Exploration. And did not find the zombie dungeon that we were looking for. Uh, so I guess we've got still got something to do next episode. Alrighty, this is Uncle Troy. Uh, oops. This is Uncle Troy accidentally sprinting. Uh, when I just meant to creep along to uh, drop some seeds here. Alright, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Please have a good nap.